Think of Britain years ago, and the tranquillity of the countryside. Yet even then, various noises played an important part in the lives of ordinary people. In the country village, church bells summoned people to Sunday worship. Communication was by means of letter, and the telephone did not exist. Try to think of Britain today. On the street and at home, electronic devices tend to dominate our lives. Have a look around your home and at school and make a list of all the different machines you use that make noises. Computer games make all sorts of interesting noises. You will find out in this video how to make some of them.
these devices produce sounds to warn you of something happening. In this garden, wild animals have been disturbing these carrot seedlings. The gardener has tried a rather unusual method of scaring off the animals. He has fixed an intruder alarm on a pole. Do you think this idea will frighten the animals away? Or just end up irritating the gardener? Some noises are unpleasant, and others you may enjoy. We're going to move to Yule Castle School in Surrey to look at some design and technology projects that have been produced by a variety of students. The theme here is one of simple games using electronic devices that make a noise. several people using the dice. If a player rolls a six, they can have another go. The player will also need an exact number to get to the finish. What exactly makes the sound? I've used two multivibrators, one which makes a low note and one which makes a high note. These are connected to two loudspeakers using power transistors. Connected to the loudspeaker wires. It's a diode and it'll prevent back EMF damaging the circuit. What is a back EMF? It's a reverse voltage produced by devices with electromagnets, such as relays, solenoids, and loudspeakers. The diode will allow the current to flow in one direction only. How are you able to change the frequency of the sound from high to low? Well, there are two ways I can do this. Either by altering the setting on this potentiometer, or by changing the capacitors to a lower value. Why do you get a sound from the loudspeaker? Well, the multivibrator causes the loudspeaker to vibrate to produce a sound. How have you managed to produce a low frequency sound? This circuit here makes a light flash on and off. When it is connected to a loudspeaker, you will see the cone of the loudspeaker moving in and out at the same rate as the flashing light. I notice that the cone of the loudspeaker is moving slowly, but not producing much sound apart from clicks. If I increase the frequency so that the light is flashing quicker, the loudspeaker will start to produce sound. the sound for the game, I noticed that some of the components are slightly different to the flashing light circuit. Yes, the capacitors are smaller in value and the loudspeakers vibrate quicker, producing a higher frequency sound. 
When a player lands on a lucky square, what will make the circuit switch on? I've used these counters with small magnets in the base. Underneath the board, I've fixed reed switches. When the counter is near the reed switch, the magnet causes the contacts of the switch to close and switch on the circuit. your circuit is different to Adam's circuit. Yes, I have used two integrated circuits here. A 555 timer chip was used for the multivibrator. Why a 555 timer chip? It makes construction cheaper and more compact. Some of the connections are very close together. Was it very difficult to make? Soldering was difficult at first, but with practice and a small soldering iron, I eventually became quite expert. How have you managed to achieve time delay? This multi-vibrator is arranged to switch the sound circuit on for 10 seconds. I can adjust the timing of the circuit with this potentiometer. What's the reason for this capacitor here? It is used to provide the main time delay. Joe's game is better than yours. It is different to my game, but it's not a totally new idea. The electronics are more complicated and the sound is more interesting. If the game were to be made harder, it would be quite a challenge. Well, I think it's difficult enough. Warren has made a very different sort of game. How does it work? When the spinner stops, the number on the spinner must match the number on the board. The player can then place the plug in the hole. When the two plugs are replaced in the correct holes, the, the game will then sound. It must take ages to complete the game. Yes, I have been playing it for ages. How do the electronics work? Each timer circuit is arranged to give a different sound. One a high note, the other a low note. A transistor circuit switches each one off and on alternately. Yes, I notice that there's a transistor circuit and two other circuits using 555 timers. Did this take very long to make? Yes, there are three circuits here and drawing out the circuits for the printed circuit board was very difficult. If you had to make any changes, what would you do? I would probably use only one circuit to make a single sound. I really prefer it as it is. The sound is better, but it took longer to make the circuits.
Doctor, how much have you actually lost on this game? Well, I haven't lost anything. At the school bazaar last Saturday, I raised £21.63. pence. I was the winner, the players were the losers. Well, don't you think this was rather unfair? Uh, no, there was always a chance of winning, and the prize was £5. Well, how do you know when someone has won? There is a light dependent resistor here. If the coin covers it up, the game makes a sound. <coughs> and the player has won £5. I notice that the sound is like a two-tone siren. Yes, I've made a connection between the timer circuit and the sound circuit. It looks as though there are two circuits here. What do they all do? This one is a light sensor circuit and this one is a sound circuit. The light sensor <coughs> switches on the sound circuit. Roger, I like this game and it seemed to work well. It certainly made a lot of money at the school bazaar. Do you think the design could be improved in any way to increase the chances of winning? Yes, I could use more LDRs and circuits to produce a different sound. This would indicate a second prize of 50p. I think it would make the game more interesting. game best. It's easy and simple to play, but it takes quite a long time to win. I like the sound it makes. It's quite different from anything that I've seen before at Bazaars and Fates. Circuits that make a sound can feature in many design projects. Musical instruments, various games and alarm systems are the most common. <laughs>